Hello, my friends. Now I'm going to take up contribution of Gupta's to literature and uh, uh, science. The classical age of India begins with the Gupta age. In the Gupta age, Sanskrit gained importance. Sanskrit became the language as well as the language of culture during that period. It was also the language of Mahayanist. As a result of the patronage given by the Gupta emperor, Sanskrit became a dominant language. Prose and poetry in Sanskrit were encouraged on a lavish scale through royal patronage. The most brilliant luminary of the Gupta age was Kalidasa. Kalidasa has been regarded as the greatest writer in classical as Sanskrit language. His uh, famous poems are Kumara Sambhava, Meghadutha, Ritu uh, Samhara and uh, Raghu Vamsha. He has been described as Indian Shakespeare. Kalidasa's drama are Abhijnana Shakuntala, Malavika Agnimitra and Vikramor Shiva. The other great scholars of the age were Shudraka, the author of Mrichakachika, Vishaka Datta, the author of Mudra Rakshata, and Devichandra Guptam, Vishnu Sharma, the author of Panchatantra, Amara Shiva, the author of Amarakosha, Bharavi, the author of Kiratar Juna Niya, and Bhartihari, the author of the Three Satakas. Harisena, the composer of the Alhabad Prasasti of Samdragupta and Vasabhati of Mandasar Prasasti of Kumara Gupta, who belong to this age. The period also witnessed an increase in the production of religious literatures. Some of the Puranas, for example, the Markandeya, Brahmananda, Vishnu Bhagavatha and Masya received their presence from during this period. The Mahabharata was also rewritten during this uh, period. The Smritis of Yajnavalkya, Narada, Katyana and Brahaspati most, most probably belong to this uh, period. From the 6th, 7th, 7th centuries onwards, due to the interaction between the different forms of Sanskrit and uh, uh, tribal dialects, regional language developed along with them emerged regional uh, script also. Now I am going to discuss Gupta's contribution to uh, science. In the field of science, great development was achieved in mathematics, astronomy and uh, medicine. The great scientists of the age were Aryabhata, Varhamira and uh, Brahmagupta. Their works on mathematics and astronomy are uh, still considered as the greatest contribution to India in the field of science. Aryabhata was the first to discover the earth that revolves around the sun and rotates on its 
axis. Aryabhata also discovered the cause and occurrence of solar and lunar eclipse. His famous work is known as the Aryabhatiyam. His another discovery was the decimal system which has revolutionized the process of arithmetical calculation. He was just 23 years old when he became Aryabhatiya. Another great astronomer of the time was Varahamira. His Pancha Siddhanta is regarded as the Bible of Indian astronomy. It deals with the five astronomy, astronomical system which con contain many Greek terms. His Lagu and Brahad Jataka are works on astrology. His Brahad Samhita is an encyclopedia of the technical sciences like architecture, metallurgy, physiography, etc. Vagabata was a writer on a medicine. His work called the Ashtanga Sangraha is a summary of the earlier medical works of Charaka Sushruta with comments. It is also said that by the first and second centuries AD was also well developed in India. Many instruments were devised of, of which 127 are mentioned. The works on veterinary, veterinary science indicate the development in this science. The great iron pillar at Meroli in Delhi bears witness to the perfection in the science of metallurgy. The handling of metal work is also seen at its best in the coins and seals of the time. Coins were finely struck and dies carefully engraved. The seals attached to copper plates are also of fine workmanship. With that, I stop here. Thank you, one and all.